Port Adelaide, R. Ebert, and Norwood, P. Gallagher. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 1980 McGarry Medal from Port Adelaide, Russell Ebert. It's then my great pleasure to ask the President of the South Australian National Football League Mr. Max Bashir, to make the official presentation of the 1980 McGarry Medal to Russell Everett of Port Adelaide, the first man ever to win four McGarry Medals. On behalf of all football followers in South Australia, and on my own behalf, I congratulate you, Russell, on a wonderful achievement. I'm sure that you have all of the attributes which the donor of this medal had in mind when he laid down the guidelines. You've been a wonderful ambassador for football in this state and in this state, and you've brought a lot of glory on yourself your club and your state, and we're all very proud of you. You have achieved something that's never been done before, and I venture to say that it'll be a long, long while before it's done again. On behalf of everyone, it's my very great pleasure to present you with the 1980 McGarry Medal. Thanks very much, Max. I haven't got any cue cards here, can I? You've got them all. <laughs> After a speech like that, there's not much left to say, really. Uh, it is a big night. Um, the count always is a big night, and they set players up, and I thought they were going to do it again. <laughs> Poor old King Owen Hodgie there. They took the brunt of it this year, which was a bit of a relief for me. But um, thanks very much to everyone here for their uh, applause. Thanks to everyone who would probably be sitting down at home by now <laughs> after uh, a fair bit of excitement. But uh, thanks to Port Adelaide, Big Bob, uh, finishes an incredible career down there pretty soon and uh, I'm sure he'll still be around the club. To Jack, thanks for uh, the way you've accepted me back and uh, also to all the players throughout the year. Thanks to my wife and kids home, uh, to mum and dad, their continued support and all the family. Uh, hello to Bill up in Locks and I believe you're getting this replay so uh, that'll be good, he'd be pretty excited. Um, thank you to all the trainers and everyone involved at uh, Port Adelaide. I'd like to thank uh, also uh, someone you, you know but you probably wouldn't know about, and that's Ricky Montiardis, who's done a, uh, a wonderful job uh, to, along with our trainers to keep me on the track in the last half of the year. Um, and just uh, thanks to everyone, uh, and that's about it. Before you go, uh, your fourth McGarry Medal, uh, would this be the highlight of your career? Obviously it would be. Uh, yeah, individually it'd have to be, of course, it'd be stupid to say anything else. Uh, 
but uh, I, <coughs> I believe uh, that it's a team game and, uh, and results in finals are the thing that we aim for. Premierships, uh, the most uh, pleasure I got out of uh, football was the 1977 Premiership. It's a team game, everyone battles their stomach out all year. Uh, and it's a premiership that is the ultimate, but individually I suppose the, the medal uh, of course is, but uh, it's a team game and premierships are the way you get the results. Russell, were you confident uh, before the count to that you would win your fourth Mangere medal? No. What was the feeling like? Oh, it's hard to explain. I've sort of been set up here for years and... Uh, <laughs> it, uh, nice place you, to be set up. Yeah, you, you come in and... Uh, You've polled pretty well in media awards and that, and uh, of course the the voting's run along a similar line now. And uh, you sort of everyone says you can win it, or this player will win it, or that player, and you're really a little bit confused. And you try and work out the good games and bad games. It's pretty hard to sit down and after a game and uh, and just think how you've played. So it's sort of a confusing uh, week, but uh, it's turned out this way. So. Russ, 49, appears to be a very lucky number for you so far as the McGee Medal count is concerned. Was that? Well, it's a big major, 40 now, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's win. <laughs> win, I suppose. <laughs> Russell, what about your stint with North Melbourne? Did you enjoy that? Very much so. As I said earlier to Peter, the, the year over there uh, should be experienced by everyone. Uh, the tremendous uh, pressure you're subjected to just at training sessions to make the side players here probably never ever experienced, particularly the ones who don't play finals. And uh, to play, as I said, with the best and against the best uh, and just find out just how much more you can do by being exposed to the players and the pressure. Uh, people here don't realise uh, Gary Hardman would coming from over there and, and he just realises the pressure that's involved to, uh, to make it in, uh, in Victoria and that it just teaches you how much more you can do uh, with your own sort of ability and, and of course Cornsey uh, just the extra that Graham's put into his game since coming from over there just is, is proof of, uh, of how much you learn. Now just in closing, a premiership for Port Adelaide would certainly cap a wonderful year. Certainly would. <laughs> certainly would. <laughs> Gentlemen, a 1980 in the game medalist, Russell Evert. <laughs> Russell Evert of Port Adelaide with 49 votes. In second position, who had a wonderful year, Michael Taylor from Nord on 45, Kim Hodgman 44, Peter Carey 36, Bruce Lindsay 34 from West Torrens, Neil Craig a great year with the double blues on 33, Greg Phillips a centre half back from the Magpies 32, and Rick Davies 29. But the outright winner, Russell Ebert of Port Adelaide, and I'd like to call upon the general manager of the Port Adelaide Football Club, Mr Bob McLean, to come forward. Also, would Russell Ebert once again come forward, please? Russell Ebert and Mr Bob McLean. Bob, you've got a, a very unusual uh, caricature there of, uh, of Russell Ebert. Uh, well, Ken, we had a bit of an idea down at Port Adelaide that he just might fluke it again. And uh, we have a caricature here of Russell Ebert that might help to pay uh, uh, the dividends for Port Adelaide this year. Uh, this is one that's available from the club, and if supporters will rig into the club, <laughs> or right to the club, for $10, this is yours, or there's a poster for $5. It's worth keeping the first player ever to win four McGarry medals, Russell, you bloody beauty. <laughs> Thanks very much, Big Bob, and also Russell Everett. I think, the, uh, I think the emotion has come, has come too far. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we certainly trust you've enjoyed our coverage of the 1980 McGarry Medal. Thank you for being with us. Good night, everyone.